think I'm done with this. <laughs> you okay? I'm fine. Fuck me. You got your shit, bitch. Still shooting your shit in the TV. This was your dress? I kept it from the trash bag! <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious! Wunderbar! Wunderbar! We'll be right back with more from General Angle and Decapper! After this. Can I stay here? just can't be a part of what must be done. It's okay, Sig. You've earned your keep. Now for the rest of y'all, you all ready to start a revolution? Biggest names we've ever had on this show, the scourge of terrorists everywhere, General Engel! Yeah! Yeah! All right! Thank you. General Engel! You are to die! All right, all right. General, I'm gonna say what's on everybody's mind. Take us through the moment you executed Terror Billy. What, what, what was that like for you? you? It must have been so emotional. Well, Jimmy, I remember. As I was swinging my saber, I thought to myself, we are safe now. Terror Billy was a terrible threat to everyone's safety. A demon disguised as a man. But I have proven that even a demon will fall before the righteous hammer of the right. Yes, 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 uh-huh, yes. And people of America, I promise you this. If there are demons amongst you, we will hunt them down. Just like William Joseph Blaskovich, they will die and burn until they are no longer a threat to the safety of decent folk. You hear that? Did you hear that? Yes. 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 All right. All right. Wow. Powerful words, General. Powerful words. You all saw the pictures. There was a lot of blood. Things got messy. But through it all, all I could think was how this man took my beloved daughter Sigrun from me. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, General, General, I think I speak for all of America when I say that Sigrun must be so proud of you wherever she is tonight. Yeah. She was always a little on the heavy side, you know? And very vulnerable to bad influences. Oh, yeah. We were even thinking to send her to the euthana, uh, euthanasia program. Uh, euthanasia? Uh, the mercy killing? Yeah. Ah. 
Okay. But, you know, then she turned things around. Mm. And just when it happened, she told me, Odie, I want to lose weight. I want to be healthy and strong like you. Aww. <laughs> this needs to happen up close. General. For you, Caroline. Tell me something. How do you stay so slim? <laughs> German genes and discipline! Yes! Wunderbar! Wunderbar! But the ultimate testament to German resolve is that Terror Belly is gone forever! And we... And we are forever grateful. Isn't that right, folks? Yeah! Forever grateful. General Angle. May I say, General, I have had many, many people on this show, but few have shown the integrity and grace that you have. And I, I am not just saying that because you paid me. Simmer down, everybody. It's time to pay the bills. We'll be right back with more. What the hell? You're dead! I saw you from your shoulders! Oh. I killed you! television boxes just laughing <laughs> laughing all the lies they've been feeding you laughing till you're choking well it ends tonight oh, yeah, it ends tonight my brothers and sisters of the united states of america tonight we the free people of the resistance ask you to become one of us there's a lie there's a lie there's a threatening, there's a torture, there's a killing. They beat you in submission. They beat you. They, they made you, you're very soft to cry. But if tonight you gather, speak freely from your heart. Yes. I'll use one of us. Right on. And if tonight we see you on the streets with a knife or a brick, or just your clenched fist fighting the powers that be, then you are one of us. And then for tonight, you look down upon your hands, and they soaked in the blood of our oppressors, and you, he's one of us. If tonight you hold your babies in your arms, and swear they'll grow up to be free people, then you are one of us. Did you forget? They brought this war to our shores! Yes, sister. And then they beat us. They murdered us. They executed us. But guess what? Tonight, they also find out that they fucked with the wrong country. My brothers and sisters of the United States of America. Mm -hmm. When we stand together, ain't nothing and no one can take our country from us. Tonight, they burn. Tonight, you are one of us.
strong and weak at the same time. Will you marry me? William. You're so condescending. Your goal is never ending. We don't want nothing, not a thing from you.
All right, Blaskowitz. While the guy's off kicking ass and revolutionizing, you and I are gonna type some loose ends by taking out any Uber commanders left on the board. Now get on the Enigma machine and the war map and do your thing. I'll be your comm support. Come on, let's pave the way for our people on the ground. A few more items on the to-do list. Excuse me. Hello, ciao. I did not think I would live to see this day, Herr Terrorbilly. Mein Gott. Aber here I am, living. Hey there. What's up? Hey, mister. Blaskowitz, I got an ask for you. I picked up some disturbing intel. Bear with me. The Nazis were prepping a train shipment containing ancient Sumerian clay tablets for delivery to Area 52, just before you nuked the place. I asked Seth why the Nazis are interested in that shit. Now, he told me the Sumerian civilization were an influence on early Daishid symbolism. Basically, the Nazis were going to use those tablets to help decode the Daishid artifacts they were researching. Now, since you nuked the Daishid safekeep, Seth ain't worried no more about that Sumerian shit, but I don't see it that way. I think we should do everything in our power to keep information out of the hands of our enemy. So here's my ask. Will you go to the underground train network and destroy these Sumerian tablets before the Nazis ship them off to another military research facility? I put together a brief for you on the war map. Dearling, I heard about you, a writer of famous American books. Maybe you have a copy to lend? Oh, uh, I'm sure I would like to have um, me too. But, uh, Anna, but, um, there was the, the Book Burning Rally in Pennsylvania. I remember hearing about book burnings in Berlin when I was a child in Poland. Ooh, yeah, ooh, uh, Nazis love their book burning rallies. It, uh, it was, uh, it was uh, say, many of my fellow Americans, uh, it was, um, it, uh, went along, they went along with their lies. Uh, but, you know, but, as far as, uh, as uh, went on, as, as, uh, business as usual. That's awful, dearling. Oh. Captain Blaskowitz? Did you park a flying saucer in my hangar, Mr. Blaskowitz? Bon. <laughs> it has begun. The end of the world? The voice doesn't say. Oh, it's just a whisper of strange things. <laughs> 